good morning in today's session we'll discuss about joining two sources and performing some aggregations on the joined output like for example i'm having one table called as an src underscore emp with set of records belonging to depart numbers 10 20 30 and 50 Now my requirement is for each department I want to know what is the maximum salary, minimum salary and total salary, average salary. So this data I want put into the destination. But the destination is having the table in this way. Depart number, department name, max cell, average cell, min cell, total cell. Now my employee table is having department number and the salary is there. But I doesn't have department name. Then where is the department name located? So the department name I'm hang one more table for that called as select star from DAPT SRC underscore DAPT. Now this table is consisting the department numbers means from the first table I want to pick it up depart number and a salary from second source the department number is common column between these two based on that I want to pick up the department name. So depart number department name and what is the maximum salary for that particular department same way what is the minimum salary average salary like this I want to pick it up. So then what we need to do means first of all implement to join between these two sources SRS underscore EMP and SRS underscore DPT. After that we need to calculate max salary, average salary, mean salary, total salary. For this purpose we will use aggregate transformation. So I will try to implement two things merge join as well as aggregate. So we will try to do it on the system. So we will try to create a new package. We will rename this package. So we are joining the sources and some aggregations we are trying to perform. Drag the data flow task double click on this I am placing OLDB source this OLDB source new source connection and table is src underscore emp what are the columns I am having means employee number name salary commission department number so what are the records I am having for this means something like this 10, 20, 30, 50 but I want to pick up the department name so I need a second source. The second source I am using a file called as a department.txt. First source I took from the SQL server. The second source I am trying to take from the flat file. So this is the flat file I am having with the three columns depart number, department name and location with four records. So to access this department.txt I will add flat file source. Double click on this new file connection and specify the file browse select your department.txt open it is a delimited file and uh, row delimiter is carries written with the line feed my file is consisting the column names in the first row so place the cursor for column names in the first data row go to the columns specify the column delimiter as a comma then advanced 
change the data types as per the requirement like department number data type is numeric department name as per my destination table the length is 15 is there so based on that i am specifying the size even here department name size character type but size is about 15 location so what is the location size okay but location we doesn't need it depart number and department name only so i'll ignore this department number it doesn't need this this location so i'll go to the advanced option and i change the data types click on ok now go to the columns depart number department name is required location we doesn't need that so uncheck this location so i change the department number as a numeric form department name is a string only but i changed the dimension of it and location i doesn't need it so i uncheck this checkbox click on ok but whenever you want to implement merge definitely we need a sorted input so we can work with sort transformation for that or at the source level itself you tell that your source is giving a sorted output with a particular column based on particular column but definitely that will work successfully like what we did in the previous example without sort transformation we have worked but there is no guarantee that every time your sources will give the sorted output there is no guarantee so unnecessarily it goes into the risk so there is a reason instead of setting that property i will place a sort transformation it is not a mandatory at the object level itself you can specify but there will be some time risk factor will be there to overcome that i am placing sort transformations explicitly so from validb source i am linking to sort double click on sort i am sorting based on the department number based on the department number click on ok next i am trying to take one more sort transformation i am linking flat file source to sort double click on the second sort and i am saying that i need sorted output for department number click on ok then i am using merge join link this first sort to merge join as a left input same way link the second sort to merge join as a right input double click on merge join now condition is based on department number but along with that i want to pick it up employee number sorry and uh, it doesn't need even employee number and employee name if you choose only salary it is sufficient salary and department number and from here department name only three fields now unnecessarily we brought employee number employee name commission up to the merge join why you need it unnecessary it is so better to remove from the source itself so what i'll do i'll go with oldb source again columns employee number i'll uncheck employee name i'll uncheck and i'll uncheck commission also i'm taking only two fields salary and department number so when it comes to the sorted transformation now unnecessarily so many other columns are there so what i'll do i'll remove those fields employee number it is not required you remove these fields so maybe you uh, go with the show advanced rate and remove it otherwise remove this link once or remove this sort of transformation and place it again double click based on depart number i'm sorting the data and link this sort to this particular one but you are getting some problem based that for which column it is making some changes so what we will try to do means we will remove the objects and we will add it so i am having first source validb source and i am giving sorted data i am taking the sorted uh, records from sorted transformation but 
I took only the two columns from the first source, salary and the department number. Based on depart number, I am sorting the data. Same with second source, we are having three fields are there, but I am choosing only department number and department name. Based on that, I am implementing sorting on department number. Now, I am trying to take a merge join. Take this sort to merge join. I am linking left input. And same way from second sort, merge join, double click. Now, based on depart number, we are implementing join. So, I will try to pick up this department number, department name and salary. Three fields I am trying to take as an output and join type is inner join. Click on OK. But I want to perform some aggregations. So, I will take the aggregate transformation, link this merge join to aggregate, double click on aggregate. Now, based on department number and department name, I will implement group by. Next, I am taking one more field here called as an salary and uh, I will make this column name as max cell, operation is maximum. And I am taking one more new column called as an cell and I will change this as AVG cell and the operation is average. I will take one more cell and this one I am saying as a min cell, average is this is minimum and I will take one more field called as a cell and this one I will say TOT cell, total salary and here I will apply sum, click on ok and these values will put into our destination object validb destination link this aggregate to validb destination double click on this it is a destination connection table are view so table is my target table is what tgt underscore dpt underscore sal this is my table name so i will try to select this digit underscore dpt underscore cell mappings map the columns depart number depart name already they have mapped but remaining fields like max cell average cell minimum cell and total cell click on ok save this and execute it so, when you come to your database, I am making my target table to be empty and my first source is having 15 rows are there belong to depart numbers 10, 20, 30, 50 and my second source is this is the data. So, for example, if you take department 10, its name is accounting and what is the maximum salary means it is a 5000. For department 10 accounting minimum salary is 1300, for department 10 and accounting the total salary is 8750 and some average salary same way for 20, 30 and 50. So, we will try to execute this. So, right now target table is empty, we will execute this program. file menu save all start execution is done so three rows are written into your validity 14 rows came to aggregate but it written only three rows belonging to department 10 20 and 30 so you are having output in this way for 10 accounting the maximum cell is 5000 minimum cell is 1300 total cell is 8050 and average cell is something so, here we have implemented join between two sources, after that, that output we gave it to aggregate transformation and based on that we have performed aggregations. 
and at the source level we thought that we doesn't need all the columns so we have unchecked some columns from the employee source like employee number employee name commission i deselected from the first source from the second source i deselected the location so this is an example for implementing join and after that performing some aggregations thank you